Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. We're in the Magic Studio again and it is high and down with rain, so um, those of you that like rain sounds and like the fans that are relaxing, then this is the episode for you. Right, what's it all about? I've got £250 worth of 50 pences. I'm going to hunt through them, looking for the coins that are worth more than the face value that's printed on them. But we're trying to fill this album, my, my new album. What have we got so far? Well, we've only done one episode before this. This is the second one, and we've done amazingly well. It was a, it was a slow start, but we pulled out a triathlon, a top five Olympic, worth over, a ten, over 10 quid. Um, what an absolutely fantastic start. So still need plenty, plenty more Olympics to go. The, the Puddle Duck, the 2018 Beatrix Potter set. The rest of the ones that we've got are only basics. So yeah, hopefully we will get another exciting hunt. The last one was a bit of a slow burner. It, um, it started up really slow and I think it was the second to the last bag. The, the triathlon was won. So let's see what this hunt can produce. Still a bit of a, a bit of a novelty. Opening my own bags because normally Lady M is the bag opener. And you Lady M fans out there, do not worry. She's still around. She is still um, going to be doing just as many episodes as she's always done. This is just a little bit of a little bit of extra. Right, let's uh, let's crack on and see what we've uh, see what we've got. So we'll be looking for the the shields. So the shields that were not intended for circulation. So that kind of design, but from the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, and probably 20 and 21 as well. Are we back? Come on in, your time is up. Yeah, well, my camera has, uh, has given up the ghost. Still trying to get to grips with the, the technical side of, 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 of filming this way. And clearly, there is not a single piece of luck in that bag. Right, we're back. I can see. I can see what we're doing. There's our first find, Paddington at the Cathedral. We do have him for the book. Where should we put him? Put him there, I think. We've already got him. It's nice just to get the commemorative. Hopefully, not too many of them. Nine million one thousand mintage. So they are very common and will be worth 50 pence for a long, long time. I'll be pushing up daisies before they're worth more than 50 pence, I'm sure. And there is Paddington at the Palace, 2018. Just under 6 million mintage. Oh, yeah, 5 million 900,000 mintage for them ones. And there's a Brexit. I don't think we've got one of these for the book yet. That is in horrible condition. So hopefully we'll find one in a bit better condition of that than that to go in the book. And there's another Paddington at the tower. We've got three out of the four available Paddingtons that are in circulation. Just the station to go. About five million. It is the, the hardest one to come by. And there is a better Brexit, 2020. Don't know the mintage figures, but suspect there'll be 10 million of them in circulation. And it's my least favorite 50 pence. There's dictionary, over 17 million of them circulating. Very common, find a dictionary almost every hunt. There's a Sherlock Holmes, over 8 million of them in circulation. I don't think we've found, not we haven't found anything yet that's worth more than the 50 pence. It's, Stamped on it, but it is only early days. And another Brexit coin, part of the Brexit set from 2020. You can get you can get Brexit or diversity. They're the only two circulating coins from 2020. This will be another Paddington because it's got 50 pence written on this side on the Queen's side. Whereas if it was Shield, it would have 50 pence written on the other side on the other side. So we know it's a commemorative. And there he is, Cathedral. And again, 
Ah, there we are. Mr. Bunny, very first one I found in this new book, the one I found on my own. I do check in for rotation errors. We're checking in to see if anybody signed the front, any anyone with a coin channel or anyone who collects coins. And we're also checking the outside as well because Coin Patrol has started to stamp Coin Patrol on some of his bunnies that he put in circulation. So I'm delighted to, to find that one. And I tell you what, I'm delighted to find this next one as well. Look at that, absolute beauty. Stunning coin, one of my favorites. I've got this in bunk. So I think I paid 13 or 14 pound for this in Brilliant Uncirculated. It's not in packaging, it's only in the plastic uh, that covers the coin itself. But this is one of my uh, one of my favorite coins. Got the WSPU for the Women's Social and Political Union there on the on the banner. All about giving women the vote in 1903. Lady Emma and I, we've been and seen this uh, Emmeline Pankhurst, who's chained to the railings there. Lady Emma and I have been down to London, London and seen her statue just behind the uh, Parliament, just behind Westminster, when we were out filming our uh, A to Z adventures. So we went out and filmed the on the 10 pences, there is letters. And there's sites on them letters, things that are quintessentially British. So S for Stonehenge, for example, we went there. L for Loch Ness. And we went down to London to see what uh, what was what. There's plenty of sites down there. And we did. We looked at other sites that were on coins as well. And we saw Emmeline's uh, statue. So there is another bunny. So we didn't get any at all in the first hunt. So we'd actually found more triathlons than we had Benjamin bunnies. But that is now being rectified. And I'm sure, I'm sure it will continue to grow the Benjamin Bunny's numbers. If not in this hunt, certainly in the in the coming hunts. So how am I doing on my own? What what do we think? And is anybody new? Is anybody here that's never heard of Lady M? That you stumbled across me to see uh, to see a uh, a guy in his uh, in his late twenties hunting through coins. A dashing gentleman with striking auburn or strawberry blonde hair so are you here are you new have you ever even have you heard of lady m do you know that we we upload videos twice a week a 50p hunt that was another brexit 50p hunt and a two pound hunt so how am i doing please be nice to me I, I, i'm filming a few before i've uploaded the uh this will probably be the last one i filmed before i upload the first one so I'm not sure how it's going to go down. Hopefully I'm not getting trolled for no Lady M. And people will just see it for as it is. Just, just me. A bonus bungle. And again. And Jeremy Fisher again. Toad boy. He's got a bit of green on him there. I don't know if you can see that. Just around his kind of lettering. Things have gone a little bit green. Around the, the C and the E of Pence in the 2017. He's clearly been in his pond, old toad boy. And another another duplicate as well. Another Brexit. Things are definitely coming in multiples. Let's see if we get multiple Olympics or multiple puddle ducks would be nice. I haven't had a puddle duck in any coin hunt for ages. Had a little flurry a little while back where you probably can't remember how many we got, three or four in quick succession, but nothing since. Another Pannington at the tower. Another Brexit. And a tail of Peter Rabbit. So we only need Tom Kitten to complete the 2017 set. Once upon a time, we would complete that with an egg. every hunt. But I think as more and more people have begun to hunt for coins, we've got that little bit scarcer. That's a bit taken out of circulation. And another Paddington at Bataille Cathedral in another Tale of Peter Rabbit. Ah, here's a new one. A 
the Battle of Hastings. His coins are mucky. So we don't have that for the book, I don't think. 2016's Battle of Hastings, so they've got another one to go in. And another Brexit. No diversity. And yes. Another Paddington at the Tower. One thing about the Voltex bags, which is what these uh, these came in, the, the outer bag from the Voltex cash centre. It doesn't have a date on to say when these were bagged up. If these were bagged up and stored before October 20, then there won't be any diversity in. There is another bunny. Sir Bunny. No rotation error, no writing, no coin patrol edge inscription. There is Roger Bannister. I don't think we've got him either. He's got a mintage of 9,032,000 from 2004. It was also reissued in the 2019 commemorating 50 years of the 50 pence set. So do, if you come across Roger, he's quite common. Obviously he's over 9 million minted. But just have a little check of the obverse of Queenside just in case he's got 2019 on there. And then you'll have a not intended for circulation. Not a great deal of value at this minute. Imagine he's probably only worth a fiver. But what a cool, what a cool find. It is amazing to find not intended for circulation coins. I found one in the last episode of this of my solo series, a two pound. Priced it up afterwards. And if it's still if it was still in its bunk condition, so if it was still in its packaging, you're looking at around about 30 pounds. I still reckon it's a good 20 quid's worth. Even out of its packaging. But it's just such a buzz to find it. If you haven't seen that, you'll go back and watch the last episode of the two pounds. Well, of this of this series where I do two pounds because I alternate between two pounds and fifty pences. Everything is in the, everything is in the same book. There's another Brexit. And least favourite coin is coming over and over and over again. There's a the libraries. Nice and common, it's in nice condition, that mind. I think I'll swap that one out. Considering it's 20 years old minimum. That is in nice condition. A little uh, a little mini set as well with the with the dictionaries, dictionaries and libraries. Not official. By any stretch of the imagination, but I just like to put things together in pairs and match them up. This is a 2010. If it didn't have a pointy top, this would, this would be a shield. But it's not, it'll be girl guides. There it is. We've got a girl guides already in the book. And we're in out of space quite a lot. Quite a nice little bit of variety there. As so we head on to the final bag. Let's see what luck we've got in here. So if you're new to the channel, please do, do subscribe. And if you're not new to the channel and you're not subscribed, please subscribe as well. If you want to turn on the notification, there's a, another, another dictionary. If you want to turn on the notifications, do go and press that bell icon. And every time a video uploads, you'll get a notification. Uh, stick a like on the video. Let me know you care. Stick that thumbs up. That would be really appreciated. It really does help us out. Helps the channel out. And of course, leave us a comment uh, underneath. How do you think I'm doing without uh, without Lady M? But don't worry, Lady M will be back. She will be back as normal in our other normal episodes. And if you want to get in touch with me as well, everything is in the description below. Email address. Um, all our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. P.O. Box, if you want to write to us, we open them up on live streams, if you want to do that. Right, what have you got for the book? Definitely not Brexit. And uh, then Brexit's are going. Definitely got Sherlock Holmes, that's going to go. Definitely got the Paddingtons at the at the tower. They're going to go. We're going to need a bunny, so we need to find the nicest conditioned bunny that I've got. They're all about the same, them, I think. Maybe he's not that one. That one, that'll be the one that I'm keeping. I will keep hold of them and I will I will sign them and put them into circulation. Keeping that library because nice condition. Girl Guides, no. Roger Bannister, yes. Peter Rabbit. I think I've got Peter Rabbit. Sure I have. I'll keep that nice one just in case. Do you know what I can't think? I'll tell you what, instead of guessing, why don't I just have a look and see what it is. 
that we need. Absolute plum. The plum hunt, I love it. Just over three million circulated. I guess getting scarcer and scarcer because it's age, 2003. So the longer they're in circulation, the more likely it will get taken out or get damaged and, and removed by the banks and building societies and back to the Royal Mint for, for re, um, get melted down and re, reissued again, recycled. Not the bestest condition, got a little bit of muck kind of in and around them, them railings, must have been the rain over all these, you know, 17, 18 years or so. Value. Uh, maybe it's one pound fifty. Not in great condition, but still, still a lovely find. So where are we all together? Summary. So we still need those on that page, including the Kew Gardens. It'd be lovely to complete that page. Only the one Olympic. Still plenty of the 2016s and 17s to find, and the 18s. And that's how we're doing. And there's the two pounds there, ready for when we are doing the two pound hunt. Okay then, right, we are all done. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.